Good day, my listeners. Welcome to today's program. I hope you are all faring well. Well, this is your host, Dibia Wangu Jendo. Today we are going to talk uh, about the topic titled Ijuese. Ijuese means making inquiry. The advantages and how it helps in the quest for a good wife or husband. You see, elders and those who have used this beautiful ancient method can make uh, contributions. That is, after the program. Well, for me, I think uh, HUS, uh, it means to make inquiries, to find out, to know more. This is a process of getting to know the family of who you intend to marry or get married to, irrespective of how uh, you met the person, whether on social media, in a supermarket, in a church, um, in a gathering occasion, eh? or maybe the person is recommended to you by your family, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and so on and so forth. In the olden days, you do not even need to know your bride or groom. Because what matters most is where they come from, the family, their background. So during courtship, you have to use that time to make your inquiries, do your investigation. Do you understand? The family background tells you more about the person. Their family values, are they trustworthy? Is there any sickness in that family? Are they socially oriented? Are they polygamous? You know, a lot of things make uh, makes up a family. You check them out psychologically, mentally, spiritually, physically, academically, and so on and so forth. Because the family of a man or a woman speaks volume and gives you an insight of who they are. Are they trustworthy? Are they criminals? Are they troublemakers? Do they have any sickness or diseases that are hereditary? Are they known to be short-tempered? You know, uh, now these things are of greater importance in finding a wife or accepting a man more than love or romance because that can be developed when couples start living together. Now, listen, many of you come to me for Alpha consultation to know about their would be uh, spouse. I normally advise you to make your own physical inquiry before going for the spiritual aspect of it, even though the spiritual aspect of it uh, matters uh, a whole lot. When one get uh, wants to get married, you need to check out. Uh, so many things you need to prepare spiritual preparation emotional preparation mental preparation social preparation physical preparation financial preparation and moral preparation they matter a lot i mentioned about seven types of uh, preparation spiritually emotionally mentally physically socially financially and morally they will help they will help the prospective uh, couple the intending couple to uh prepare and also channel their investigation towards this uh, angles that i've mentioned the spiritual preparation or the spiritual aspect should now be the last stage or thereabouts that is what i can say it is good you find out spiritually If you and the lady or the man are compatible, find out is there any cause hidden in that family? Is there any spiritual burden on the part of the man or woman? Something like an idiot. Find out about their EU. Because most people, they would have uh, avoided calamity if they had made the spiritual inquiry. They will know if the lady is an obanje or the man is obanje to avert any impending danger. 
That means they have to do the consultation. Once they do the consultation and find out, they work towards tackling that problem, solving it spiritually so it will not hinder their marriage. Because somebody that has an abundant spirit inevitably has spiritual husband or spiritual wife. This is where you come out and solve the problem. You sort it out. You said to your spiritual husband, said to your spiritual wife, then do your you or your ajo uh, bonuke and know what they really want from you. Know whether you are fulfilling your destiny. Know what your EU is talking about. Are you going to get married? Or maybe after you have a child in that marriage, you come back to your people. You know, all those things need to be looked into so that it can be repaired. So that it won't happen. There are some spiritual works that will be carried out to avert danger of such a uh, type. This spiritual uh, preparation will enable you to understand marriage. It will enable you to know the things you ought to know about your partner. And also, if it requires you to seek help, do you know that you will seek help? Of course, you have to seek help to find out a solution. But this is not the most important, like I said. But it will help you to build up your spirit, to become sensitive and whole, to be able to know how to go about things. What is the person's spirituality? Is the person a Christian or an ordinary adherent that's a traditionalist? Or the person doesn't, belong, uh, doesn't uh, believe in anything at all? Close observations will help you to know spiritually about this person because there are things that Alpha will not tell you. But you yourself, on your physical examination, you have to find out all these things by asking questions and seeking counsel to enlighten you. You don't have to die in ignorance. Eh? Once you find out all these things spiritually, you work towards removing all obstacles to deal with known causes and covenant and the rest of it. Do you understand? So it will help us a whole lot if we find out all these things uh, spiritually because spiritual uh, preparation involves finding out if there is any contrary causes or covenant in operation and you work towards destroying them. You need to be very, very careful about your life, your past, your present and the future. Especially those that have spiritual husbands or spiritual wives that uh, normally have love making in the dream, you know you have to work towards settlement, uh, peaceful alignment, so that they will allow you to get married on earth. Even consistent sighting of particular persons of the opposite sex in the dream, dreaming of a wedding ceremony, difficulty in getting the right partner and having a consistent break in courtship are all signs of having a spiritual marriage. If you discover that you have such a problem, then you need to seek for a good Dibia to enable you solve it. You solve this uh, problem before you delve into marriage. You solve this problem to enable you lay a good, a solid spiritual foundation for your marital destiny and secure your future victory. So, this is what you should do. When we are talking about EJS, you know it's very important. For the ladies, you can meet a man you love on social media, whether in Abuja, Lagos, Kafanchan, or abroad, then fall in love, date for months or years, and even have kids together without knowing who his family is. Don't make such mistakes. Don't make such mistakes. Even when you get married to him, people will come, dance, eat, and drink. Nobody will say anything. After all, your family never bothered to ask questions. It is when it is tomorrow now, you now notice strange things from him, and you begin to cry, running from pillar to post, looking for solution. So you really have to avert this. You have to dress, make inquiries. Huh? Because those who can deal with these changes or discovery, if you, you, you hurriedly get into marriage without making this inquiry, they are the ones that uh, quit the marriage. The same is applicable for the men. It is even more important on the side of men, the, the, the man that you know who you are getting married to because she's going to carry on with your bloodline. 
What kind of family is she from? Spiritually, who is she? Like I said, that many women have this spiritual entanglement with their spiritual spouse. It is not something that you start shouting up and down, going for deliverance. Look for a well-grounded Dibiodinani Igbo. Dibiodinani Igbo will help you to make uh, peace, alignment. You don't go uh, binding and casting so that there will not be problem in your marriage. That is why I so much love tradition. I love Igbo spirituality because they have solution for every problem. Take note today. You don't start binding and casting them. Rather, you look for a good Dibia for a peaceful negotiation with your spiritual spouse, your spiritual family. They have a lot to do with your success on earth. If you align properly with them, you give them what they want, they will allow you to live your life peacefully on earth. Aligning with them and giving them uh, whatever they need does not mean that it's just once for those people that are ignorant of how it works. It might be a yearly thing or twice in a year, you settle them too. You give them a peaceful appeasement. Let me use the word peaceful appeasement because it cannot be settled forever because they are your essence. They are part of you. If you are listening to my earlier program on spiritual spouse, the difference between Dimili Diowa and the rest of it, you will understand what I'm saying. So I want you to pay attention that you don't just put all your attention on wedding. Preparing for wedding is different from preparing for marriage. You feel you both have dated long enough, so no going back. You bring a woman home and announce she's the love of your life. And everybody is happy. Wedding plans kicks off. Who is she? Juese. Who is he? Juese. Because few months or years down the line, things change. Events begin to happen. The man might change from who you used to know. The woman might change from who you used to know. You begin to notice all things and complain that she must ha uh, have been influenced or the man must have been influenced. I will tell you to quietly take your time before tying the nuptial knots, before going for that ebanku, whichever one you prefer. Make your investigation. Carry out your research. Joy say about that family properly. If it's a family that has a very debilitating disease that you know you can't cope with, from onset, you know you have to back out. If it's something that the genotype does not match, maybe AS and SS or whatever, you know you have to back out from onset so that you don't bring children into this world to suffer unnecessarily for your mistake. Don't be carried away by love or lost, whichever one. The family should do their investigation. Now, these days, if uh, a, a man brings a woman home that uh, he wants to marry her, it is also the duty of the members of that family, your uncles and aunties, your father's brother, your mother's sister, or whatever, to carry out their investigation. Secretly, behind the intending couples, to find out, but these days, nobody cares to dress. Nobody does that. They are all carried away. Oh, he's rich or she's rich or whatever. You need to be careful because marriage uh, is an institution. It's not just something you walk into and walk out like that. If you have a solid foundation, it is going to pave way for your marriage, for a solid marriage in the future. It is not about a glamorous wedding. Everything is not about beauty, homeliness, romance, class, money, style, and so on and so forth. I told you, spiritual preparation matters a lot. Then let's talk about emotional preparation. Emotionally, because spiritual preparation is not enough for marital success, because marriage involves two people that are not only spirit beings, they also have souls and bodies. For anyone to experience marital success, there is need for emotional maturity and preparation. 
Just like spiritual preparation, there are also three dimensions to emotional preparation. You need to, first of all, in emotional preparation, avoid accepting wrong reasons for marriage. People have very weird uh, reasons for accepting uh, marriage proposals. Maybe age. You don't just marry anyone because you feel you are growing too old. Do you understand? This has to do with emotion, especially women. You get carried away. Maybe another thing, passion for sex. I would advise you not to marry due to sexual passion for someone because intimacy is more than sex. And you might end up in sorrow and only enjoy sex and not marital bliss. What if the passion is no longer there? How are you going to cope? Both of you will be looking at each other. Peer pressure. Don't allow peer pressure. Allow people to influence you into marriage. Hmm? So allow people to influence you into marriage is to leave your life in the hands of people to be used, misused, and abused. Even if all your peers seem to have gone ahead of you, wait for your time. It is applicable in this uh, emotional preparation. Also, don't get married because of parental pressure. Escape theory. You want to escape. Huh? Parental pressure is that most parents will tell you by the time I'm your age, maybe you are 25, that I've already gotten married and have had all my children. What are you doing in my house? Go and get married. Where, go and marry your wife. Go and marry your husband. This, that. A lot of us are victims of this. Parental pressure is also one of the things you should checkmate. It is one of the things you should get ready for this uh, emotional preparation. You don't just get married because you parental, your parents have mounted pressure on you. Or escape theory. Never get married as a means of escaping from house shores. In our Warsaw. Or singleness because you may be exchanging one problem for another. Eh? Escape theory. You really have to be careful. Then also, another factor is pregnancy. You don't get married because you are pregnant for the person. Because the person you are pregnant for does not know you 100%. You don't know that person. Then, Ibluzia female is not a guarantee that you must marry the person. Because there are many other factors that must be in place. There is no love just to save face. Is that what you want? You really have to think about this. Because there is a solution for every problem. You can have your baby. Then continue to move on with your life. It's not a must that you get entangled in pregnancy. Because you mistakenly fell pregnant. Do you understand? Another factor is uh, social pressure, loneliness, physical future. Because the man is handsome and the woman is handsome, you now allow infatuation due to physical attraction, drawing to a marriage. It is a great error. These are the things you should check out during that uh, courtship. Ijuese. Now I'm talking about emotional preparation. How you prepare that woman. Don't get married because of social pressure or loneliness. Because marriage does not deliver you from loneliness. So to go into marriage as a cure for loneliness is a wrong idea. Pity ride. To marry someone because you pity them and want to help them. Eh? Or that bachelor. Because marriage is not a rescue mission. Or that bachelor. Blackmail. A man will blackmail you because he has your nude. If you don't marry me. I will tell everyone what we have done. I will expose you. I will share your picture. Uh, flood it on the internet. Don't marry due to blackmail. Else it will be your prison. You will not be happy. You need to tread cautiously. Or you go and get married for material reason. Because a poor man today can be rich tomorrow. So to make decision due to material, uh, material reason, you will end in frustration. Because you need a person, not things. Our ladies are fond of this. Already made, already made husband. If he's not already made, I don't see any future prospect in him. I beg, uh, he and who go, they suffer that suffer. These are the things you should check before you 
do the final uh, ibampo or wedding, whichever one, because these days uh, people prefer to do all three, court wedding, church wedding, traditional wedding, not knowing that uh, court, uh, church wedding is an imported uh, uh, <laughs> culture. So marry for material reason, economic escape, anxiety, then over exposure to one person. Please make sure you have various friends, male and female. So you know your emotion. You don't get carried away because you are exposed to just one person. Because when you expose yourself to only one person so much, your emotion may, may, may deceive you to think you are meant for each other and bring you into a relationship that you are not ready for. I hope you understand. So people, you need to think very well, prepare yourself emotionally. That's all the things you should do. Another dimension is to embrace wholeness by dealing with emotional weakness. Are you the kind of person that is always moody, uh, keeping things, shy, you have fear, lost, you always bag things, that's to keep things in your mind without talking about it, then you use it to act against your partner as a negative emotional uh, uh, weakness. Huh? Do you have inferiority complex or superiority complex? Because they are both uh, two extra weakness of the emotion that requires you to balance it for emotional maturity and relational victory. Do you suffer from low self-esteem or too high self-esteem? Remember, I'm talking about emotional preparation. So, if you have all these complex problems, you need to work on yourself during this EJUSA. Can I ask you about your partner? Can I ask you a Are you fully prepared? Are you ready for this marriage? Are you ready? Do you have an unforgiving spirit? Do you carry bitterness and grudge in your heart? Are you critical minded? Are you easily jealous and envious of people? Because these are signs of emotional weakness that can always jeopardize relational peace and stability. You need to, to work on yourself. You need to do what I say about yourself and your partner. If you find these emotions in your partner, you really need to take your time. Maybe extend the courtship. Don't rush to get married. Are you the kind of person that always experiences explosive anger? To be an extreme or easily angry person is a dangerous emotional weakness because anger is just a later shot of danger. Do you have that uh, a domination that you always want to dominate and control people? It shows that emotionally you are not prepared. Are you kind of, uh, 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 always uh, looking for ways to, to look for people's uh, uh, trouble, always gunning for, for problem, always trying to control, always looking for things to pressurize people with, to always tend towards uh, dominating and controlling people and always wanting to have your way. Because this is a negative emotion and very, a very bad uh, uh, weakness that one needs to work on. Do you understand? It's very bad. So people need to work on themselves emotionally and prepare. You need to identify your weakness. Being honest to accept that you have those weakness. You can seek for help uh, uh, psychologically. Uh, a psychologist. You seek for their help. You work on your mind. You make conscious efforts to discipline yourself by adjusting and replacing all those weaknesses for strength you need to also understand the gender difference because most people that are preparing for marriage they don't dress about themselves what are the uh, gender rules you know a man is different from a woman do you understand your partner do you understand what makes him uh, who he is because men are logical why women are emotional men are moved by sight women are moved by words Men are naturally rough because they were formed uh, um, that way. 
why women are naturally more careful and very neat. Men are concerned about um, talking in brief why women want to give details. So during this courtship, Jewel said about this person, Jewel said about the man or the woman, find out their national makeup, their spiritual makeup for yourself and your family and his own family. Because there is a difference in gender. So you know who you are getting married to. Know if this kind of emotions run deep in their family. If they are excessively jealous, you need to be careful because these ones are prone to become uh, wife beaters due to jealousy, domestic violence. Hmm? Find out because men are more deep and less open while the women are less deep and more open. Men get turned on easily and switches off easily while women take time to be on and stay on for a longer time and take time to switch off. If you understand this gender difference, then you know you can cope with your man. The man knows that he can cope with his woman. Because uh, most men find fulfillment in their relationship, their job, their career. Why women find fulfillment by their relationship with a man. So you as a man, know when she's happy, know when she's not. If she's not happy, you have to fill her EBA. Fill up her emotional bank account. You start early in the morning by doing that till the next day, till the evening. Touch her. Smile with her. Laugh with her. Crack jokes. Make her to be happy. You are getting to know yourselves before you, you inquire about her extended uh, family. Know yourselves. Understand yourself. Emotionally prepare yourself. Because gender difference, uh, it matters a lot. Gender difference matters a lot so that you know what you are going into. Because the difference in gender will help you. Each person must endeavor to make changes and adjustments in themselves to make their relationship better. You see, to be rough and untidy always as a man just because you are created from... Uh, 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 <laughs> whatever you need to be very very neat because most women don't like men who are dirty you need to always look for ways to be able to appear presentable before your woman likewise the woman too some women they tend to um, also beautify themselves but once they get into marriage the opposite is the case Let's talk about mental preparation. Mental preparation is one of the reasons you have to evaluate yourself before you say, I do. Or before you say, yes, I do. It's traditionally or in, during the ch or church way or court way. Mentally, are you prepared for this journey? Because most people become frustrated in marriage. You need to know who you are getting married to. Because when you are single and preparing for marriage, it's very vital to prepare for responsibilities of being a wife, of being a husband, being a father, being a mother. Because these two are inevitable phases that one must go through in marriage and it has lots of responsibilities. Marriage is not an amusement park, so therefore dress about who you want to marry. Mentally. Mentally, are you prepared? Are you ready to go out and work to gather money to spend on others alone and not on yourself? Pay bills, rent, school fees, cater for the family? Are you mentally set for the selfless life? Are you ready to carry pregnancy, you the woman, for nine months without being able to sleep on your face, eat what you like, do what you like, even to a point that you cannot stretch yourself? Are you ready? You need to educate your mind, enlighten your mind, eradicate wrong philosophies from your mind during this courtship period. Dress about yourself, about your partner, their mental status. It is very, very important. 
after you dress about your partner's mental status, what about his family's and yours uh, mental status.